And so, folks, as I was saying a while ago, Mr. Paul Beer has three things. Three. Mr. Paul Beer's government has three things. Three sectors. Three things. I mean, three areas of life that mean life and death for him. That means the world for him. He has protected this area so jealously all the way from 1990 right to this point. Area number one, the production and distribution of alcohol. Listen, Mr. Paul Beer is ready to crush anything that wants to disturb or obstruct the availability of alcohol in good quantities all over the territory. He needs the people to continually get intoxicated so that they focus on menial issues and keep, ch and, and, and keep chanting Paul Bia to Joshua Ga. That is why in the Republic of Cameroon, you will notice that even in the most remote areas where you are unable to get a tablet of paracetamol, you will get chantua, you will get music, you will get custom, you will get Guinness, you will get beer, you will get beer at all costs. That is why you will notice that the most lucrative business in that country now, Apia Palos, that's what it is. That is why you will notice that you get to one building, a story building of about eight floors, on four different floors, you have about, I mean, all of them are littered with unlicenses. They are littered with bars, with liquor, with beer palos. That's why you have whole junctions that they refer to as Carrefour de Boku de Bar. Listen, folks, the law in that country states that one beer palo will be separated from the other by at least 500 meters. That means by at least half a kilometer. But like I said a while ago today, even in hospitals in La Republic of Cameroon, the canteen sell beer. Even in schools, in schools where, according to the law, it is, forgive, it is forbidden for any beer palo to operate around the vicinities of schools and hospitals right inside the premises today, Alcohol is the most available commodity. That is what it is. Now, the other sector for Mr. Paul Beer, football. Football. I said football. You can call. World Cup 1990. 1990, where Beer was facing the most vicissitudes. From that moment until this day, his image has been in the image of the premier sportive Cameroon. Every second the Lyons on table you again. Everything is centered around welfare football because it is also another serious opium to the masses. They look at it, say, oh, they dance and they drink. And they celebrate. And they say, Paul Bia, you show God. And they forget about all the pain around them. That is why in the Bible, in the book of Proverbs, Proverbs 30, Lamuel's mother tells the king, Lamuel, Lamuel, strong drink is not for kings. Give strong drink to the poor and downtrodden so that they will drink, get married, and remember their sorrows no more. That is Paul Bia's mantra. The combination of beer, that's alcohol, and then Football, oh my goodness, it flows. And then the third one, the third sector, is the salaries of civil servants. Those slash as it is, right now, everything is done to make sure that at the end of the month, at least they have that bigger salary. So that at least they will be able to have access to beer. That is why corruption, bribery and corruption, is very much enabled and is part of the public policy even to allow the people the latitude to have the extras to spend on alcohol so that they stay totally intoxicated. 